Well, we knew it was an opportunity to uh, probably explore a few options, without a doubt, but also to give some guys a bit of a run who've come back into the fray more recently, like Chris Henry. He's in the squad there, so it'd be good to just stretch it out for another week just to give them a, uh, get them back in the environment. But, you know, Kean Kelleher, Collie O'Shea, those types of guys being in the environment, it's great for them to see them there, but it also lives up to the spirit, what the, the Barbarians is about. You know, you always like to expose a couple of good, exciting young people in, into the framework there. So, overall, we just want to make sure that uh, we're covering our bases with certain players. Some players obviously will be arrested. Uh, some are carrying a few little injuries. Uh, we're just managing the whole thing to get the best mix possible because uh, uh, at the moment, I think at Toman, there's 14,000 plus tickets sold. We'd like to get that up because it's, it's certainly a cauldron that's uh, brilliant to, to perform and if the crowd does build up. And uh, it'll be exciting because when you see what the Barbarians have brought to the table as well, uh, bringing Brad Thorne in recently and, and George Smith, you know, two Trojans of the game, uh, it can really set it up for an exciting affair. So uh, we've tried to reciprocate with our selection. No monster players for obvious reasons. Were you tempted to bring any of the kind of lads as well? Leading up in certain uh, selection meetings, you know, we, you know, we were challenged by the, the process who was going to be available. But once uh, Connor went to that gut-wrenching, 80, 100 minutes actually, um, and a, and a gut-wrenching loss for him really, but uh, we decided not to go there based on the fact that that's a, that's a a lot of minutes to put in, a lot of emotional energy expended. Um, so we left them out of the mix. But, um, you know, I was still a Friday night. There was a couple who were keen to get involved. Uh, just talking to Reds are there. You know, there's, there's, there's a keenness by the boys uh, to be involved in the match and um, and bring forth their best uh, at time. And oh, and as a player, how do you um, approach a particular game like this against a side that's full of players that are a team that has not met together before? Yeah, I think with the squad that's been picked and everything is quite exciting. and. Um, Looks like we've got some some very good attacking minded players in the squad. That said, as Les said, you know what I mean. We have certain principles that we stick to, and there it is. It is possible to play with very good rugby with those principles. You know, they're mainly around the breakdown. So, um, I think it's exciting in the year kind of thing where you you want to enjoy it, but you got to be ready to play and, and ready for a, a physical encounter anyway. Um, I'm sure a lot of Limerick people might show up and hope the Babas do well. You know, we might get a few more thousand. Um, Tickets being sold as uh, Leinster and Ulster are playing against uh, the Babas. But, um, you know, I think, look, it's exciting. I think, this, this, especially when you see young lads getting a crack, um, you know, you want, them, you want the environment to be good for them when they come in. You want them to enjoy it and you, and you want to see them express themselves over the next few days. Um, so I think it'll be, it'll be a good week. It'll be an enjoyable week. And I'm sure it'll be a good game of rugby and, and um, tough on the lungs, I'd imagine, looking at both squads.